Welcome to another segment of Frankly Green Bay where I introduce to you creative people throughout northeastern Wisconsin. He's a songwriter, he's a musician, and he's a producer. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jeff Hinnendale. Welcome to another edition of Frankly Green Bay, where I introduce to you creative people throughout northeastern Wisconsin. Got my friend Jeff Hinnendale in here. How you doing, buddy? Very good. You know, it's cool to finally get you in here. I've been watching you and what you've been doing, and I just want to talk about reviews that people have said about you. You sound mm -hmm. like you got Bob Dylan style and Paul Simon. What do you mm -hmm. think about those things? It's a massive compliment. Yep. Paul Simon's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, Bob Dylan. A couple people have heard of him. Hello. Um, yeah, so that's a massive compliment. I grew up listening to those guys as well as Neil Young. So, uh, yeah, I take that as a compliment. Thank you to whoever said that. Well, I, there's a lot of people. <laughs> now, Jeff, uh, you know, you play guitar, you play drums. Which one's your favorite? What do you like to do? Oh, that's a tough question that I get asked all the time. Uh, drums, I like to play when I'm, I just want to sit back and kind of relax at the gig. Playing guitar and singing makes me a bit nervous. Okay. Drumming never does that. Uh, so sometimes I prefer drums, but most of the time I prefer singing and playing guitar. Okay. It's, yeah, that's my true passion. I grew up playing drums, starting drums, and then I picked up the guitar in high school. So Let's talk about your videos. Now, people can go and subscribe to your YouTube channel. Tell me about Love Lost. God, I like that song in that video. Yeah, it's a weird thing. I, was, I went up north to Door County to record this last album, and while I was up there, I wrote that song in about 10 minutes. Uh, I just sat down and had this idea about a certain person that I had in mind, and it just came out, which happens sometimes. And when yeah. that happens, it's lucky, you know. Uh, most songs, it's a struggle to write them. It's, it's tough, you know, going from beginning to end, having the story, having everything yeah. uh, pertinent to what you're trying to say. Uh, and that one just poured out of me. It was great. So. I wish well, that happened more often. Now, um, your new CD comes out when, and how do people get it? Uh, it is out now. Uh, you can buy it uh, at HinnendaleStudios.com, which is my own website. You can buy it at CDBaby.com. It's on iTunes. Uh, it's all over the place. Now, you got a Texas road trip coming out, and you're going with a couple buddies of mine, probably one of the best singers I've ever met, Darren Johnson. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you guys are going down to Texas to do a little tour. Tell us about that. Yeah, we're uh, going to go test the waters in uh, about a week. We're heading down there. We're going to be down there for three weeks. Uh, we will be playing at various places on South Padre Island and wow. Mission, Texas, the Rio Grande Valley. So, uh, Must yeah. be nice. Yeah, get out of the winter in Wisconsin yes. and head down to Texas. So. So, tell me about the music you'll be playing. Yeah, we'll be playing everything from 50s to, uh, you know, the 60s, 70s. Um, and I'll be playing drums for that. Darren will be singing. And Mr. Bob Balsley will be playing guitar. Now, when you get back uh, in town, do you have some stuff planned when you get back? Yes. Um, I play a lot at La Vie Bohème uh, over in De Pere. I'm be playing at the Bottle Room uh, starting when I get back. Uh, Jimmy C's, Stadium View, all over the place. Well, that's yeah. fantastic. Now, we're going to hear a little bit of Maria from Jeff now. I can go to bed. Join me next week as I bring you another creative person from Northeastern Wisconsin. See you next week.